Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the uh, Bake Your Own Budget Pie Show, Topic 4, DQ1. Today, we're going to be working on a budget, and then we are going to include a couple of graphs. One is a pie chart, another one is a histogram. Then we'll take a look at our income, projecting our income, determining what it currently is, what our budget is, and projecting that into the future. All right, this is something you guys will be doing for major assignment two as well. All right, so let's start off here. First of all, start by typing your name into the cell C2. That should say, right, everybody, not C1, C2. So let's go here, ahead here and type in our name. All right, good deal. While I'm at it here with you guys, I'm going to correct this to say C2. All right, I know you don't need to do that. I'm just going to do it while I'm here, okay? All right, there we go. All right, so the next thing we want to do is enter your budget items. This is a monthly budget. Everybody see here, monthly cost for each category. Format with two decimal places. That is a dollar value, right? So... You might have rent, you might have house insurance, you might have house repairs, you might have food that you buy groceries, you might have food that you order online, you may have food you have delivered, you may have food you go out to eat, okay? Utilities, phone, electric, water, whatever you have, right? Auto, you might have an auto payment, you may have auto insurance, you may have gas, you may have auto repairs, those kind of things. Recreation. This could be anything, going to a movie, going to shows, going to concerts, going to ball games, going on vacation, right? Or even a, a staycation for a day somewhere. Other could be things such as pet food, right? Supplies, yard work, anything you want to put in the other category. Please do put something in each category, even if you don't have it for yourself, okay? Just to see how it, the math works. All right, next thing we want to do is go ahead and enter some subtotals. So you can see this first subtotal is the housing. So I'm adding up this column right here. All right, so I'm gonna enter equals sum. You can see the formula picks up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect that formula. Then I'm going to highlight this first column. Yes, I'm highlighting all of it. Not because I have something in every column, but to show you how to do so, just in case you have more items than I have. Okay, and don't just put one item. That's very boring. That's not going to give you anything to add at all. Okay, put at least two budget items, even if you have to make something up. All right, next thing I want to do is I want to just copy these formulas down. So I'm just going to drag this down all the way to other. But now you're going to see this is not correct. Okay, it's not correct. So what do I do to correct it? Click on that cell. That is cell C18. Click on the formula. All right, you can see right here where it's highlighting. So I need to grab this, watch my mouse, watch it when it goes to like the four directions, the arrows in the four directions. When it does that, just grab it and move it, okay? And I just drug it to over there, okay? And I'm done, hit enter. Now it's the correct answer. Do the same thing with the next one. Click on the cell, left click, left click on your formula, see where your box is that is gonna be all your cells. Move your mouse till it gets to the four arrows, left click and drag, hit enter. Okay, do the same thing again. Click on your formula where this, the cell where the formula is, look at what it's collecting. You don't wanna do that. So drag it over here to auto. All right, that's still not the correct one. I gotta move it down. So bring it down. All right, that is not correct. I lost my drag there, so drag it down. Okay, there it is. All right, hit enter. Do the same thing with the next one. Click on it, look at what it's doing, grab it up and drag it over to recreation. Hit enter. All right, next one, same thing. 
it's way over here in the wrong place, not even close, drag it up and over to other, and we're done. Okay, good. Now, everybody, how would I find the, the monthly total? Okay, adding all those columns up. I put all the subtotals in. How would I add all of these up? Don't put cell one plus cell two. Okay, we're not doing that. We're not going to do that at all. We're going to use our sum formula again. This time, we're going to be adding vertically right above us instead of over in the budget table. So just sum those all up and close it off parentheses, and you're done. Now, everybody. I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to tell you, watch this, think about this. If I take this subtotal right here that I just created, that is cell C23, and I drag it to the right, it will add up all these percentages, right? Okay, once again, what am I going to do? I'm going to take this cell, C23, I'm going to copy it in D23, and I'm going to be done. Okay, now I need to find some percentages. So I'm going to do equals. Percentage, remember, is the part divided by the whole. So the housing is a what percentage of my budget? That's the question, right? So put my forward slash and put my monthly total. All right, now, everybody, you can see I'm taking the housing and dividing it by the total. I want to copy this formula down. Do I want the housing cells to move down? Yes, I want to go from housing to food to utilities, right? I want it to shift down but I don't want the monthly total to shift down. Otherwise, I'll be adding up nothing but blank cells, right? So how do I do that again? I lock that cell C23 vertically by putting a dollar sign between the letter and the number. Okay, hit enter. Now, I'm just going to do one of these just to show you guys. Just copy and drag, right? I'm done, okay? Once you've done that, complete the table. Don't stop there. Complete the rest of the cells, right? Just keep going, like I said. All right. Next, if you don't know how to insert a pie chart, here's a video for you to insert a pie chart. If you don't know how to insert a bar chart or a histogram, here's a video, how to create a histogram, okay? Just click on those and make sure you have those set up for your viewing. That's going to show you how your items in your budget compare one to another. All right, once you've completed that, let's go to our income section. On our income section, it says the monthly budget from the previous tab. All right, all I gotta do here, everybody, is click equals, click on my budget tab, select the cell where my monthly total was, which is C23. Once I've done that, hit enter, okay? And my table is all done because I can see, I completed it ahead of time, but I'll talk to you about it. All right, it says, suppose your monthly income is 150% of your income budget, of your budget rather. What is your monthly income? Look what I did. F3, my original budget times 1.5, which means I have my original income. All right, 1.5 is 100 plus 50%, 150%. All right, next it says, what percentage is your budget of your income? How do you find the percentage? You find the part divided by the whole, right? So that is F3 divided by F5. All right, good. All right, next it says, suppose your income increases by 10%. What would your new monthly income be? Well, where is my income? My income is in cell F5, right? So it's 110%, so I multiply it times 1.1, right? 0.1 is 10%. So 1.1 means I'm going to take my budget, I'm going to multiply it by 1, and then plus 0.1, or multiplying by 0.1. So I don't have to do that. I'm not going to write it out plus. I'm just going to make it 1.1 and get it done in one fail swoop. Okay, next. If your monthly income remains 150% of your monthly budget, what is your new monthly budget, everybody? Our new income is 9,211, right? Right there in cell F11. If I wanna find out my new budget, go back up here, what did I do? I took the monthly budget right here. I took the monthly budget and I multiplied it times 1.5. 
So if I want to go from my income back to my budget, what am I going to do? Am I going to multiply by 1.5 and make it larger? Or I'm going to divide by 1.5 and make it smaller, right? I'm going to divide by 1.5 my budget. I'm sorry, my income, which is in cell F11. My income divided by 1.5 is my new budget. All right. The last question says, what is the percent increase in your monthly budget? Okay. Everybody. Here's my budget right there. Cell F3. There's my new budget right there. F14. And this cell says, what is my new percent increase for my new budget? What's my percent increase? How do I find that? Remember back in topic two, DQ2, percent increase was the new divided by the old minus one. The new divided by the old minus one. Okay, I'm gonna let you think about that. Once again, the new budget divided by the original budget minus one. That will get you the answer. You can see it right there. It's gonna be 10%, okay? Once you're done with that, go ahead and save it. Click back through, make sure, go through your checklist, make sure everything is done correctly. And you guys are good to go. Take care, everybody. Have a great afternoon. Have fun with your budget. Bye.